this is my so this is I moved in with my family because um, I live in an apartment building and the building um, actually somebody in the building tested positive um, like a guest that was there and so I had to get out. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I left. I've been here. I've been wanting to stay with. I've been wanting to stay with my mom too. I have a couple um, people in my life that I know that weren't just feeling great. So I've been kind of like avoiding my mom until I know that I feel a hundred percent fine, which is like the mm -hmm. hardest thing for me. Cause I want to be with her so bad, but she goes and visits my grandma every single day. So I just want to make sure that I'm like totally fine. Even though I oh, feel good. I know I'm young your and healthy. I remember your grandma. My grandma, she's in this senior living and today she wasn't feeling great. She was like having, um, shortness of breath but I think it was an anxiety attack just because she's hearing like so much about how it'll affect her age group so she had a little anxiety attack today but I didn't even want to go and like be there for her because I just want to make sure that I'm not so young and so healthy that I don't notice if I'm not of feeling course. No, that's so smart the social distancing is gonna mm -hmm. like help so much people are and like, I'm so good at it take it seriously I know I'm such an introvert I'm, like, I'm like, so good at it I'm like so is something different happening yeah. <laughs> um, it's something happening that wasn't happening before. I kind of made a vow to myself that was just like, when I get older, I just want to represent what I didn't have. And I want someone, I want to be that for somebody. And then I remembered I had a little sister, you know, who was yeah. like that age at some point. And I was like, I need to be that for her, that most, in, like, first and foremost. And so... Um, I came, you know, I talked about my struggles with, with food and stuff and, um, yeah. And it, and I'm glad that I did because so many, it's brought me and my fans closer. Um, it's, I feel like helped young people, you know, learn to accept their bodies when it starts to change. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I mean, I think I definitely never want my fans to worry or stress or anything. So, like, that's another reason why when you texted me and said, hey, would you do this thing? I was like, absolutely. Like, I will, do, yeah, anything that I can do to help anyone right now. Yeah. We're just sitting in our houses, like, isolated, locked up, like, not doing anything. If we can be a light to somebody, amen. Like, let's do absolutely. it. Absolutely. It's so important not to get consumed in negative self-talk. Um and this goes for anybody, whether you've dealt with body image or not, you know, we're, we're confined into these spaces. We're going to see the same mirrors every day. We're going to have the same, some of these same negative thoughts. It's important not to beat ourselves up over getting nervous, over maybe not, um, you know, eating perfectly, not working out perfectly. Like these are um, different very scary times and I've never we've never been through anything like this in our in like our lives so this is all new to everyone and it's it's okay be gentle with yourself and just take care of yourself as much as possible